What's up, CW fans? Hey, I'm going to be doing a build of the CFT-1 by Jonathan Kane KM4CFT. I've got a kit of his. It's going to... It's. I have a video on it. Uh, he wound up uh, sending me a, a demo version just to uh, check it out and maybe do a review on it. So I did a review on it. It's um, on my channel here. And I saw him, met him at Hamvention, and I said, you know what? I need to get a kit. I want to play with it. Uh, I want to build it. And uh, I'm going to uh, do this part one for uh, opening this up, starting to uh, figure out how this build is going to go. And I'm going to do a multi-part video on this, this whole build. So hopefully you'll want to uh, hang out and watch with me. So anyways, let's, uh, let's see how it goes. Okay, so the first thing I want to do whenever I get a kit, I always like to just open it up take an inventory of what I have, try to figure out, you know, kind of like how this kit is constructed, make sure I've got the instructions, the paperwork, and just really get myself organized. I've got uh, Cam4 CFT, got his card here, in case I have any problems. Uh, looks like he's on Discord also. So, um, super nice guy, met him at uh, Hamvention, like I mentioned earlier couple of things here. Let's see. We got the power cord, which I guess I could keep this in here because I'm not going to be using this probably until near the end. So what I'll do is do that, put that up top. Looks like the next package is all of the circuit boards. Got serial number 224 or 234 or 274, something like that. Maybe maybe it's 224. Uh, maybe it's 274. Either way, I guess it doesn't really matter. So I've got some circuit boards. Uh, let's see, there's already some surface mount chips on here already. So the rest of them looks like they're through hole. So that's cool. I will be uh, doing all the soldering. So that'll be fun. I like soldering. I know some people don't. Uh, I've been doing it for longer than I want to admit. Um, so I was really excited. Some of these kits, uh, there it's a lot of surface mount stuff. So there isn't a ton of things you can do. Although I have the capabilities here in the lab to do surface mount at uh, a, a lot of different levels. So. Looks like that's going to be the front. This is going to be the back. And then we have, if you saw my other video on the CFT-1, you'll see that it's kind of sandwiched in between. Now, these might not be in the correct order, but there's uh, the boards kind of look like that. So one, two, three, four. Component board, component board, and whoop, there we go. And then we've got the face with no components on it. And then we've got the back with a possible heat sink or something, or maybe some kind of a ground plane. So we'll, uh, we'll see what that looks like. So here's the boards. Nice, uh, very nice to do to protect the components as you know, things ship. Just looking at some of these, looks like everything was very well protected. So we're good. This can be discarded, put it off camera. Next pouch is uh, 3D printed parts. So these are the spacers that go between the boards. So we've got three, and then we have the knobs, which are expertly printed. Very well, very well done. Put those knobs, whoops, I'll put them up here because we're another thing we're not going to use for quite a while until we get this all figured out. But yeah, so we'll have, uh, you know, one of these goes here, that goes there, this goes here, this probably goes on top, this gets sandwiched down there, and then that's that's going to be kind of what the uh, end result looks like. Not necessarily in these orders, I probably have these 3D printed parts in the incorrect order, but that's what this kit's all about. We're going to explore uh, what it's going to take to put this together and make it an end product. So 
I'm really excited about this. Yeah, and this was uh, this looks like it's got a lot of surface mount already on it. A couple of uh, through hole components, maybe a header here, and uh, looks like a bunch of capacitors, coils, uh, chokes, all that other jazz. So neat. Really excited about this. So those are the boards, 3D printed um, spacers. Let's see what this is. Uh, thank you for the purchase. Oh, maybe this is a, uh, keep this document for your records. Oh, okay, cool. And uh, all right, so we'll probably reference this at some point in time. Looks like we're going to be doing some calibration. And uh, to get start building your kit and access the assembly and owner's manuals, please go to hamgadgets.com slash PDF. All right, so I still have to do that. So I'm going to do that in a moment, but we'll keep this handy. Need to put it right there. Let's see, the last thing are the parts. And I don't know, it doesn't make sense to just drop them all on the, uh, the pad here. I'm going to, maybe it doesn't make sense, but that's what's gonna happen. We've got the display. Some capacitors, you know, variable. Uh, well, actually, yeah, multi uh, multi-function variable resistor, potentiometer, whatever you want to call it. We've got um, ooh, cool header. Got a header, another one. This is probably going to go there to get those boards to communicate with each other. Got some feet. Probably going to be one of the last things that we do. So I'm gonna put it up here in the last things we do bucket, all right? Um, CFT1 sticker, yes. I'm gonna put that up here also. We've got, uh, looks like this is going to provide some um, protection again. And it almost kind of looks like it's like that size, right? It might end up going there. So we'll see what that looks like. We'll put that over here. Got some high wattage resistors. Let's see, I don't, I can't read what that is. I can't imagine that's uh, no, it looks like a MOSFET possibly. I can barely read that. Let's see, it was, uh, I think it's an IRF something. So probably a MOSFET. Whoop. Got a little push button, possible. Uh, trimmer capacitor or trimmer um, potentiometer. Got some standoffs right here, a couple of different sizes. Electrolytic capacitor. Uh, what is this? Oh, another capacitor. We'll just put it in the capacitor part box here. More capacitors. Just put them in the capacitor spot. Put the electrolytic in there. Push buttons go up here. Get a little switch. We're running out of room. More push buttons. And we have a crystal. Looks like it's uh, 4.9152. Can't wait to check that out. Put that in the crystal spot. There's actually a couple of them in here. This is also a 4.912. And the third one. I think that's all there probably is in this kit. Some more capacitors. We've got the the socket, the 3.5 millimeter socket for possibly headphones or a key. <clears throat> and another one for the headphones or the key. Or CW paddle, if you want to call it that. Put this electrolytic in there. Let's give it a little bit more space here. Move these around. So that's kind of cool. Got that. Those things over there. Potentiometer down here. Put that over here. Let's throw all the other rotary devices here. You can see these little trimmer, meaning that it's it's probably a fine, fine um, adjustment, right? Possibly. We'll see. I'm just making assumptions here. Put some of these pieces up there. We've got the socket that's going to be the DC 
voltage that we're going to be adding to this. <coughs> I'll put this little pad right there. A couple more, a little, little socket, all right? Possibly NPN transistor, I'm guessing, who knows? Find out. A couple more push buttons. Wow, we have a lot of push buttons on this thing. I kind of forgot about that, actually. Got some screws, which I'll, I'll put maybe up in this section here because we'll, we'll probably won't use the screws until much later. And the standoffs and um, you know other things that kind of put these boards together. I'll just put them up here. Right there. More here, Got all the standoffs. Some more screws. I'll just put them up here. I don't know what these screws are for. I I didn't really take apart the CFT one when I had an opportunity to play with it. I, I didn't want to um didn't want to do that because uh, Jonathan was nice enough to let me borrow one for a little while and test it out. So that was pretty cool. And uh, I did. I think I just took like the base plate. Off. No, maybe the back off just to to see. What it looked like inside and I was pretty impressed but I didn't like fully take it apart so I don't exactly know if the BNC connected for our antenna didn't exactly know how it was really assembled all right so we have like some things to be take care of we've got some bushing a plastic bushing of some sort I'll put it maybe up here by the screws um, the, these are typically, uh, these are little um, plastic pieces that you um, you put into place with through-hole components that kind of keep them maybe upright or stood off of the PCB, the, um, the, the PC board. So I'll just put that up here also as like a one-off. We have a couple of 3D printed possible standoffs here or bushings or something, something we don't want to lose. I'm gonna put those up here as like, don't want to lose them, don't want them to go flying. Another screw, a couple more capacitors. Wow, we got capacitors going everywhere. Got a little, uh, whoops, little guy, and they, they're so small, they just kind of like stick to my finger, and my fingers aren't even sticky. A couple more screws some nuts for those screws so something's going to get screwed in put those up in the screw area capacitors we have an led one led i think that's for the uh, cw beep, 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 beep. so i'll just put that right there and the last one is a capacitor all right so it looks like we have a, a pretty decent layout of components here um i, I feel that i am somewhat organized. I've got some PCBs. Let me just go like this, bring them around. Um, I've got this part right here. Can't forget the card, gotta keep that there. I've got the LCD. We have a bunch of capacitors of all different kinds, um, like mylar, electrolytic, um, uh, ceramic, possibly. We have a, a couple of transistors. One might be a MOSFET. Uh, we have some headers, some beefy uh, resistors. Actually, these are the only resistors that we have. Everything else, if you look at this board here, we've got uh, we've got uh, actually all of these are capacitors. Almost all of them. There's a there's a choke or the, there's a coil right there, and then some of these are resistors up at the top here. Whoops. Some of these are resistors at the top. Bunch of capacitors, coils, and we have transistors down at the bottom. So nicely laid out, actually. It's pretty cool. Couple of uh, integrated circuits, and I'm sure we'll see what this is all about. Super duper small micro mini relays. These are cool, five volt relays. So yeah, I'm sure we're gonna get into what all of those do, or at least a little bit. Um, I, I don't know that this will be an education uh, session on how this is architected, but um, I think we are all set and ready to get started. I think the next thing that I want to do 
is go and download and probably print. Although I do have a, a monitor here off the screen that maybe I can do a setup to show what's on the monitor, but maybe it might be better just to print them off, print off the instructions so we can kind of follow along and then check mark off all the things that we ended up doing. And that's those set of steps. So we've got uh, some crystals, got those, that, and that. All right, so it doesn't look too intimidating. And I think, um, yeah, the next steps are, we'll print off the instructions. Now that we're organized and we're ready to go, looks like we're going to be doing soldering on one, two components, uh, two boards, I should say. And then, um, then we'll probably be doing some assembly after we complete the soldering. So let's uh, print off the instruction manual and uh, that'll be uh, the start of part two of this multi-part assembly for the CFT-1 from uh, KM4CFT, uh, Jonathan Kane. CW1, my friends.